We start with breaking news in the last hour or so, and Israel has reportedly launched an attack on Iran overnight in a retaliatory strike, with reports of explosions near a military base in Isfahan. And that's according to U.S. officials. Yes, Iranian state media have been quick to downplay the situation, claiming their air defense systems were able to destroy three drones in the center of the country. Now, we yet to get any official statement from Israel on the attack. Well, meanwhile, the Australian government has urged its citizens to leave Israel over fears of a revenge attack by Iran. Let's talk to our security editor, Mark White, who joins us now. Morning, Mark. What do we know at this stage? Morning. Well, we are still waiting uh, on any official word from Israel as to what this uh, attack was, whether, of course, it was Israel, or we suspect it was, as it's being widely reported by U.S. media that the Israeli government informed the U.S. government that they were about to launch these attacks. Um, they seem to, uh, from what we are hearing, be limited in nature. Air defence systems activated in a number of Iranian provinces, including in Istifan, that uh, one of Iran's largest cities in central Iran. It appears to be focused near an air base. Uh, we understand that the eighth uh, wing or fighter wing of the Iranian Air Force uh, is based in an air base. There's a number of air bases in that area. It's also home to some of Iran's nuclear facilities, although there's no indication that any of those nuclear facilities were targeted. Uh, there are reports that some of Iran's uh, drone uh, manufacturing capability is based near Istifan. Um, so we await to see really just what has been targeted and what the damage has been. As you said in your introduction there, the Iranian state broadcaster has been downplaying these attacks, saying that they were easily dealt with by Iran's uh, air defence systems that managed to take out uh, three drones. But, as I say, we're getting reports of some other explosions uh, and activations of air defence systems in some other provinces as well. Mark, I mean, it is early. It's important to stress that. But from what we know so far, this isn't a strike on civilians. So for Israel, given the range of options, this does seem to be on the lower end of the scale in terms of a response to what we saw on Saturday night. No, and you wouldn't expect that Israel would be uh, striking civilian areas as such. It, any strike that Israel was to carry out would be uh, aimed potentially at military regime targets, the possibility of Iran's nuclear systems. And certainly it makes sense if it is targeting the drone uh, manufacturing capabilities as well, because, of course, there were 170 drones at least that were fired uh, from Iran towards Israel on Saturday night. And really since then, since 331 drones, crews and ballistic missiles were taken down, not just by Israeli forces, but also uh, coalition partners, if you like, in the sense that uh, the, the US came to the raid, also the UK, France uh, and Jordanian uh, Air Force planes, as well as Saudi Arabia. So a number of countries that intervened to help Israel defend itself from those attacks. We had been waiting since those attacks took place on Saturday night for the uh, likely response from Israel. Uh, we had heard, of course, from the UK government, the US government and others calling on Israel uh, not to retaliate, to take the win effectively. Uh, no one ever really thought that Israel would not respond uh, to some extent uh, to this very significant attack on its soil. Well, now it seems uh, we have a response. Now, the big question here is, was this an initial uh, targeting of sites 
uh, in Iran to be followed up by further attacks? Was it always designed to be limited uh, in nature um, so as not to escalate the, si the situation further? Um, and any other response from Israel may not be direct attacks on Iran. Only the hours ahead might tell that when we get some indication from the Israeli government. They have said nothing thus far. That might be an indication that what they are planning is not over yet. I think from Iran's point of view, not only is their state broadcaster playing down this, uh, but we're also hearing that the aviation uh, authority in Iran has opened some of the airspace around some of the airports in the, the country again. So the mood music, I think, coming from Iran is a bit different from what they were saying really just hours ago when they were saying any attack from Israel would be met with uh, an immediate and massive response from Iran. Well, there has been no immediate response from Iran, that's for sure. We're not seeing any alerts over Israel this morning and it's eight o'clock in the morning in Israel uh, and nothing yet. So, uh, as I say, so much is unknown here and we just have to wait and see when we finally get that confirmation from the Israeli government as to what exactly they were intending here. OK, uh, Mark, for now, thanks very much indeed.